Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at TheServerSide.com and I want to quickly show you how to push a new project to an existing GitLab repository. Now you can see starting off I've got a little website here, the HTML page, some JavaScript and a style sheet and I want to push all of that to GitLab. Now how do you do that? Well, you've got to have a GitLab repository to start with. It could be an existing one or you could even create a new one and that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to create a new GitLab repository called example website. It's just going to be a default repository. It's going to be public. I'm not even going to put a readme file in it. I'm just going to create this project and boom, all of a sudden I have my repository. Now one thing you get when you create a GitLab repository is you get a GitLab URL. Copy that URL because you will need it in just a moment. Um, because we want to take our local files and push them to this remote repository. Okay, so now you go back to your project. Well, the first thing you need to do over here is actually create a Git repository. So you open up the Git bash shell in the same folder as all of your files and you go git init. And that initializes an empty Git repository. You can even see over here, there's a little Git folder that gets created. Now, if I ask for the status of this repository, you notice that it says we've well, got three files that are untracked. So that's easily changed. You just do git add dot. And if you do git status again, it says, hey, these files are now being tracked, but they're not committed. <laughs> Don't say that I'm afraid of commitment. I can do a commit all the time. So I'll add those new files in. And then when I do a git status after the git commit, it says everything is in the index. Everything has been committed. And all of these files are now ready, well, to go wherever you want them to go. And where I want them to go is this GitLab repository. So you need to connect your local GitLab repo your local Git repository to GitLab. The way you do that is you add a remote with the Git remote add tag. You say I want to add a reference to GitLab and then you paste in that Git URL that we copied a little bit earlier. You click enter and now that registers the remote GitLab repository, the existing GitLab repository as the repository of note. Uh, however, it doesn't push anything up to it. To actually do the push, you've got to do git push dash. You would have set this as the default repository. Dash F will be needed to force the push to GitLab. And then you say, well, where do we want to push it? We want to push it to GitLab. That's what we named the remote. And which branch are we pushing? We're pushing the master branch. You do that. You'll probably get asked to authenticate if you haven't authenticated already. And boom, all of a sudden it says, hey, we've pushed those files. And now if I come over here and do a little bit of a refresh, boom, you can see that those files are now moved up to GitLab. Now, here's the other cool thing. You can maybe have some other people add files to this GitLab repository. I'll do it right here on the server. I'll add a little readme. Add this file to the repository and all of a sudden, boom, the repository that is up on the server is out of sync with the repository on my local file system. You can see that the readme is there up on the server, but it's not on my local file system. Well, to get it, all I have to do is a git pull command and boom, you can see that that readme file now comes right down to my local file system. And so I've added that GitLab remote. I've added a connection from my project to an existing GitLab repository. I've pushed my changes to that existing GitLab repository and I've even pulled changes that were contributed to that repository to my local workstation. And there you go. That's how easy it is to push a project to an existing GitLab 
repository. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Git, GitHub, GitLab. Uh, if you're interested in DevOps, Java, enterprise development, microservices, we've got lots of stuff on there too. Also, if you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and please subscribe on the YouTube.